Online political commentator. Great. Okay, we're here with Lauren Gray, and she's an online political commentator. And it's great to meet somebody with uh, such a diverse and uh, similar interest. I like to do a lot of commentating as well. <laughs> yes, yes, I'm very happy to be here. Thank you. Uh, we wanted to ask you about your views on uh, the Me Too movement and um, get your insight as a woman, uh, how you feel about it. So is there anything that you'd like to tell us about that? Okay, so the Me Too movement, it's an online movement. People are using the hashtag Me Too um, to come out, essentially, um, if they've been harassed or abused sexually. And it's a big trend. Um, it's dying down, but it was a big trend a few months ago. And, you know, I'm for it. I think that if you want to come out and you're comfortable going online and saying that these things happen to you and you want to inspire other women who maybe are scared to come out and aren't comfortable then that's a great thing to do uh, as far as it happening to someone I it's sad it's disgusting and it's all too common um, this me too movement has really inspired a lot of girls and uh, I think that if somebody has done something like that to somebody, they should be punished, and it is something to take very seriously. Uh, so let me uh, try to clarify exactly what you're talking about. Um, when you say harassment, or uh, exactly, uh, what are we talking about? Because uh, are these Me Too experiences that they're sharing are they about rape or attempted rape, or are they about uh, battery? or about uh, just an uh, inappropriate uh, pass or uh, an advance from somebody that they didn't want to any attention from. And that's what's confusing to us men exactly. What are we, because for me a lot of things are clearly off bound, but uh, as far as I can tell, I mean, uh, it's legitimate to, to uh, make an advance uh, in a courteous way to a woman and uh, get her feedback and uh, some, I'm not sure some ladies consider that to be harassment or not because maybe they say, well look, I'm not interested in you. Well, how did I know? <laughs> right. right, I think the Me Too movement for me, what I'm seeing is a more serious case. It's more maybe children that were molested or, or people that were raped or people that were harassed in the workforce and I'm seeing a lot of sexually based uh, context there. And, well, uh, obviously, these things have to be legal, and they should be prosecuted. Uh, the, if the woman comes forward, and she should have, they do like, don't they do it like a rape kit uh, after you have a bad incident like that? You know, where you get the evidence, and then you put the guy away. Right. Um, the problem with that is, what, from my understanding, if you're going to do a kit like that, it has to be directly after something like that took place. A lot of these women are coming out because you know, maybe they, their friend came out or their family member came out and they're thinking, you know what, I hid this for so long, it's been 15 years, some of them, and they're coming out and they're saying things, and I think that if there is an accusation like that, I'm not saying that they're lying, but it should always be looked into. It sh you should never right away believe them, but you shouldn't, you shouldn't think that they're lying either because you don't know really what's going on. So I think that if there is an accusation like that, check it out, look into it. Um, it has to be dealt with. It's a big problem in America today, and it has to be dealt with. Well, it's kind of interesting. Why uh, I sympathize with women that are going through this and that they had a bad experience, and uh, I'm sorry that they didn't have the gumption to take action at the time, which is would have been the preferred course, and. I, now I'm starting to understand uh, some of these ladies think that this will give comfort and solace to other ladies that have suffered similar incidents. Um, I can understand that. Uh, so, but what I would try to resist is the general conclusion that men are bad. <laughs> right. And you see, that's that's a problem too, you know. They think, oh, because this happened to me, all men are this way, and that's not the case at all. It's, it's really not. Uh, 
you know, I've met a lot of great people and a lot of great men and they're very loyal and trustworthy and uh, it's just not the case and I would hate for this movement to get out and people think, you know, wow, there's so many cases, all guys must be like this. It's not the case at all. So yeah, we, we want to make that clear that if something did happen to you, you know, it's, it's a special case in your instance. It's not, you know, it's not everyone. That's a great point that we agree on, and so I think basically we kind of agree on everything. I mean, uh, I, I see a value in sharing a uh, bad experience with another human being of any kind to try to give them uh, some empathy. And